How often do you smoke weed now? Every day. <laughs> Every day, seven, seven days a week. How much? Uh, probably 20 bars a night. Spend about 150 quid a week or something like that. I didn't start smoking weed until I was about 17. I was smoking it now and then when I was about 14, but I didn't really get into it because I had like a bad trip on my first time. But once I did start getting into it, it was like, it started where it was getting like a tenner bag a night. And, and then it just started going up and it started going up to about 20, 20 bag a night. And I would spend about 150 pound a week just on green. Have you taken any other drugs in your life? Yeah, ecstasy, cat, um, what's it called again? Um, cat, stuff like that, party drugs. And what was your experiences on each of them drugs? <clears throat> I would feel like high, I wouldn't get angry if I was on ecstasy, all I wanted to do was dance. That's all I wanted to do was dance. And uh, it's a come down really, I can't really handle the come downs. I would start harming myself sometimes because I'm that low. Well, my family noticed that I wasn't well. They noticed that I wasn't sleeping because they were asking, oh, you got bags underneath your eyes and stuff. I told them I wasn't sleeping, I wasn't eating. And on top of that, I was smoking a lot of weed and I was taking other drugs too. And it just, just warmed my mind. My mind just wasn't in the right place after that. I've been to the hospital twice. My first admission was a couple of years ago. It was only for a month though. And then when I came out of hospital that time, because they put us on the drugs and they thought, yeah, you'll be all right. And then I went, I was, as soon as I left hospital, I started smoking weed straight away again. And I was smoking it more than ever. And then after, a few months after, after my first admission, my family noticed that I wasn't well again. And I wasn't sleeping and I wasn't eating again. And I wasn't looking after myself. So I went to hospital again. And this time the section does for six months, so I was in hospital for six months. And being in such a confined space as well with other people that were unwell, it was just a weird experience. I came across some characters in hospital. But like, after a while I became, I guess, I was getting frustrated and I was like pacing back around the corridors like, like an animal in a zoo when I'd been caged. Honestly, it was, it was horrible. It's not it's some, <clears throat> something I don't really want to go through again. Is there anything you can tell us about inside hospital, like anything that happened? Um, there was, I ended up taking drugs and I started cutting myself in hospital and I was putting signs and stuff all over, like drawing in blood and then um, they had to like come in and check my wounds and stuff. Most of them were just superficial, but some of them were quite deep as well. And that was, it was just, it was such a random moment. I wasn't, I was unwell at the time, so I wasn't really thinking straight either. I mean, I was hearing voices and I was getting really anxious and a bit scared and I started cutting myself because I just got so low about it. How did you go about taking drugs in hospital, like inside hospital? Like how did you get in? And how did you I would sneak it in with like the takeaways and stuff like that. Like the, the had a, I actually got to a stage when they actually had to check our takeaways and make sure there was no drugs in them. And there other people that would come in and visit pretend to visit and then do get them that way. I actually took a 15 pound, it was a uh, ketamine and it was like 15 pounds worth. It was like a, like a little golf ball. And I actually swallowed a hole and I was like, uh, I went to a dark place after that. Uh, my brother, he bought us a little sketchbook and some pencils and stuff just to keep my mind un occupied and off everything else. Like just my mind, get, get my mind off being in hospital and like he would just see boys a sketchbook and I just non-stop started drawing I mean they weren't the best drawings in the world but I would spend a lot of time on them just to escape really I still draw now and then but I don't really it's not really a full-time thing it's just now and then does it help now the same way yeah, yeah it helps. still helps it's still an escape same with video games and movies and stuff as well I mean, I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to that and it just takes my mind off everything. <laughs>